Welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where we will be creating a habitat enclosure for the skunk, one of the new animals released in the Twilight Pack. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out looking and I've gone back to my old ways. At least I've gone back to my old ways and not my bad ways, right? I've gone modern again. I just had to and I just, you know, I thought it, it, it suited. I don't know why. I was going to try to do like a realistic, natural looking habitat. But I've gone with modern and it, yeah... It, it doesn't look exactly like all the other stuff I've built what is modern. If, by the way, if you're new around here, so subscribe for one and like the video. But for two, I like to build stuff modern. And you'll see this is the kind of stuff I like to build. So, Skunk House. That's what we're naming it. We end up changing it to House of Skunk. Um, and we started off with this kind of like this modern plasterboard piece. Adding a little uh, metal trim around it. And then I thought, right, we need a sign. And I played around with a couple of ideas. Like I said... We do end up changing it, so stick around to see that. And in this video, I will also show you how to place the habitat barriers and the paths in a technical habitat like this. Because I know some people struggle, a lot of people ask me to show it. So yeah, stick around uh, towards the end of the video and I will show that. Uh, you know, how to place paths underneath custom paths and how to play, place a um, habitat um, gate and no barriers within a technical kind of habitat like this. Just getting this sign done here, just getting some like line so it looks like it's underlined and yeah bob's your uncle fan is you aren't the signs pretty much done and then it was time to create see what i wanted to do with this is create elements of the build and then just kind of like put them all together so first of all i created that wall which will be part of the hard shelter and then we created this um kind of like plaster and window piece which will be the viewing area this is where our guests will look in you see me just getting the archer there trying to get the scale um yeah, we just added some plaster piece. Came with I, I started with the same colour theme and I ended with the same colour theme and colour colour theme colour theme. And I really wanted to stick with that it's just so it looked like it flowed all the way through and it looked visually attractive. I'm um, just adding a little like rim. I just I always do this when I build glass pieces, like little windows like this. I always try to make it as realistic as as possible, even though it is quite realistic, like out there build. Not realistic, modern out there build. I still wanted to create elements of realism within it if that makes sense so it looks functional it looks like something what you might see in kind of like a high budget zoo i'm guessing you would have to have a high budget to create something like this then the custom floor now the, obviously the normal natural path will go underneath this but this is what our guests will walk on the custom floor i always build this with the main viewing areas as well it just works best and then when you copy it you've got you've got the path and you've got the viewing area which just just works out perfect. See me just adding a little bit of a hang of ear and, and I'll add some mesh pieces in there. It just gives the impression it's not effective. It doesn't stop the skunk climbing out of this. Well, the skunk won't climb out of this habitat. I tested it. The skunk is perfectly happy. It's got everything it needs and it won't come out. But this is how it come out looking in the end. You can see it kind of gives it that more natural look as well. And it makes the, um, the viewing area look a bit more realistic as well. So adding some decoration now. So we added these planters, these low level planters. <whistles> Added the mulch, obviously, and then time to add some foliage. Added just some simple foliage, but I think it looks pretty decent, to be honest. I, again, I do change stuff towards the end. We do end up adding an education, like, centre board there. And then just at the back here, I duplicated the original. So you can see, I put the path in and I put the habitat gate in. Again, I'll show that at the end how I did that. But I just duplicated the same building I've already put down, made it a little bit bigger. And then I've got like an um, introverted like kind of angle, which gives it that modern look. There's the new sign, home of the skunk. I told you I changed it and made a new one. I think it looks better. And then the inside, I just wanted to spruce this up. I had this like empty space here as you can see and i thought what can i do here so i created like kind of like a backstage storage area um it's the only thing i could think of putting in this but it just closes that gap off and it just fills that gap and just doesn't make it look very plain once that was in place it was time to create the last building the last main piece and this is going to be that um, the hard shelter the main hard shelter for the habitat for the, for the skunks so the skunks will be able to go in this pit the other bit what I, I thought would be hard shelter it's not I ended up changing my mind this will be another viewing area that's why you can now see windows added in there I've got those square windows in 
which our um, guests can go inside to look outside and they can go in the far bit and they'll create a little window that you'll see me creating in a sec in the main building um, which can you can in look into the actual habitat yourself i did make the glass one way so it won't affect the skunks and that's where the skunks will sleep in this bit you can see me creating here you see i just changed some of the colors there i didn't want everything looking the same colors so let's change this roof for starters let make that a little bit darker and then we'll match up with the other rest of the roof here and this is the thing when you're building in planet zoo just some advice coming from this video if something just doesn't look right, don't leave it, because it will bug you. Well, it'll bug me anyway. Maybe I've got a little bit of OCD, I don't know. But honestly, if something doesn't look right, just change it, play about with it, and just, yeah. I say it all the time. You've probably heard me say it loads of times if you're a long-term viewer of mine. Patience and perseverance does prevail. The teacher used to say that to me. That's where I've got it from, if you ever did wonder. One of my teachers in college used to say that to me, and it just always stuck. But it was a really good saying. Um, just finishing off the trim now on the top and on the bottom of this last building which again this will be the hard shelter for our skunks and where our skunks will sleep and then it was to try to carry on this and try to join everything up which was a little bit of pain in the ass but we got there in the end carrying on with the same path carry on with the same walls the same theme making everything that line up which you can see here i struggled with I did struggle a little bit with lining everything up here, but we do pull it out of the bag and it does come out looking pretty damn good. Again, anything you've seen me create is on my workshop page, link in the description. So if you're wanting this in your own zoos or you just want to download it, then you can. And I'll say it again, this is fully functional. I made the habitat I made last was a raccoon habitat and it wasn't very functional, but this it will be fine. You can download this as a blueprint, you can put it down. You can follow my steps to put in the habitat gate and you'll be fine to have your skunks. I'm just showing you how everything came out looking there. And then it was time to add the tunnel. Now this is where our skunks will scuttle on through from the hard shelter part to the outside part, the kind of like viewing area for the guests. So we've got a private area separated with a not so private area, a viewing area. Um, and separating it is this kind of like tunnel gate where would you call it i don't know but it's quite fun to see the skunk just have a little separation from like oh look at me visitors to like right i want to chill now um we do end up putting lights in this build as well which i kind of don't do in a lot of my creations i don't really add lights but i have this time and inside the um the hard shell so i've added red lights just again keeping it realistic you won't really have bright lights for an animal what's trying to sleep would you especially a nocturnal animal so i added some red lighting in there you see the bedding is down and this is where i kind of like i was kind of stuck at this point i will admit i'm not perfect um i don't um say that i am but i kind of struggled of where i'm going to put the habitat gate and how i wanted everything looking so again i just fiddled around with it and i just kind of went with the floor and just came up with it see i just removed that wall piece and that wall piece now at the front where the viewing area will be that is going to be kind of like a gate it's not going to be a functional gate but it's going to look more realistic and give another look to the habitat as well we're adding just the gate here again giving it that more realism look so where they would be able to go into the tunnel it kind of looks like our zookeepers can get into that bit and then just either push up or lower the gate to separate our skunks from the outside to the inside just adjusting the little fencing here as well, which again, which is a bit pain in the ass because everything wasn't four meters by four meters. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard to tell that they're overlapping really. It does look good to me. Um, Twi let's talk about Twilight Park. If, if you have got any strong opinions about Twilight Park, let me know in the comment section below. Are you enjoying it? Have you got it? Have you bought it? Are you watching this video because you're thinking about buying it? Do you want my advice? My advice would be buy it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favorite parks. I'll up there with the aquatic pack for me. Right, adding fences and paths. This is where I'll show you how to do it. So first off, no barriers. So I added the habitat gate. You can see where I've added it. There will be a gap in the blueprint once you download it to indicate where to go. And then I just followed it all around the edge. And this is what you want to do. Everywhere where you want your skunks to do, just follow it. Remember, the building pieces are solid. You, the skunks could not escape. And then just join it in the end. And there you go. Boom, you've got... The habitat gates all complete 
Now, paths, as for paths, a little bit more trickier, I'm not going to lie. Paths has always been a problem in this game, without no paths being included. But I just kind of like just followed it along the, the custom path as best as possible. I changed it to add to grid there so I can just get a straight line. And then again, I just played around with this bit just so I can line it up and attach it to the habitat gate itself. And there we go. Now it's pretty much complete. We just got to add foliage. So let's do that right now, shall we? There's one bit of foliage, the second bit of foliage, and hey, let's create a tunnel, shall we? I decided to create this tunnel, don't ask me why, I just thought it'd look good, and I thought it'd be, you know, I was kind of worried at first that the hit boss, hit box, I know the hit boxes aren't great for the animals in Planet Zoo, thought the skunks are even going to be able to get through this, but they can, it is very functional, it works, um, and that's exactly how I wanted to make it. See, I just moved that over. That's not functional though. I just moved it over for a minute just so I can adjust things and get things how I wanted it. I wanted the, the tunnel to kind of look like man-made but also natural as well. I wanted it, I didn't want like a metal tunnel or a, or a wooden beam tunnel or anything like that. I wanted it to look like it blended into the natural environment and the foliage of the inside of this habitat. Um, I decided to make, well, kind of like two tunnels, join them in at a 45 degree angle and then just line them up and then adjust it and then there we've got a little tunnel. Obviously, we're going to add a lot of foliage um, around the tunnel as well, as you can see me doing here. Make it kind of like blend in to this habitat and, and not stand out too much. Um, but yeah, it creates kind of like a little bit more privacy as well and kind of like a gateway to the habitat enrichment items as well. And this is how it came out looking in the end. And there's one of our lovely little skunks. I really had a lot of fun building this habitat. Just going through our tunnel there. How cute are they? And that concludes the end of the video. My name's Adam. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.